Hi guys, this is Mitko from DN Models. Today we're reviewing the initial edition of Tank Art 1 by Michael Rinaldi. I got this book uh, directly from the author just recently and uh, I have uh, written down message to me. Thanks for the awesome support. Of course, Michael, always for you. This is a wonderful piece of work and I'm gonna walk you through the pages to give you an idea what we have in the first, in the very first book of this amazing author. So first, as with the other books, we have explanation of the techniques, the materials, the airbrushes, the pigments, and everything that uh, every armor modeler uh, have to have in, in his stash in order to get the uh, model done nicely. We have explanation of oil paint rendering, which is one of the favorite techniques from Michael. And we have um, also explanation of uh, what we have and how to deal with hairspray. Um, the projects in the book are German. He started with that with uh, Panther House G and uh, Winter Camouflage to make it uh, look more attractive than the single yellow or two-tone camouflage popular in uh, German armor. However, he uh, showed a lot with this uh, panther because he applied almost everything that he shows in the books uh, after this one. We have uh, different aspects of the vehicle in terms of uh, small things to gather attention. For example, here this fender is not winter camouflage and uh, the rest of the tank is the way that he draws attention to uh, the model or to uh, specific parts of it like the antenna, the fender and the tracks, tips and tricks from the kitchen and from the master himself. So we have quick reference step by step for those who don't, don't want to go over the project and uh, spend time reading over and over the same thing which I always do in order to get the idea because there are so many things that you have to to follow and get through that it's impossible from the first reading to remember everything or to you know, learn how to do it. Next we have Tiger 1 uh, which is one of his uh, medal winning projects very popular even before the books it's a uh, nice 35th scale tiger painted uh, in uh, dark single tone camouflage color and then with the application of as you can see pigments and freel tracks and metal gun barrel and so on he made it into a work of art. Um, he shows uh, how with oils with pigments you can replicate the weathering of the battle damaged vehicle used and worn and uh, the single tone camouflage, as you might get the idea here, it's uh, done completely differently. It's uh, in various shades of different colors of dust and mud and everything. And this is what the book is about. We have again quick reference step by step to summarize everything and show the project. We have a Hetzer. And this Hetzer, uh, I believe, is one of his favorites. He loves Hetzers. Uh, we have uh, some idea of that during the uh, years, seeing his work in the late books and so on. He mentions that in the latest book. And this is a thorough explanation how he done it. And he did uh, this camouflage way before uh, we started working together and making the this camouflage for the fourth book. However, you can see that even what we, uh, even what he had back in the day, he achieved an amazing result with uh, this camouflage, which makes the heads are very attractive. He showed different paints. He showed techniques how to weather the exhaust and uh, 
the gun barrel to draw attention it's a different color again nicely done the circles here point out what you have to watch closely to get the idea of everything you can see the mud here this is very hard to be replicated and uh, you can imagine that in order to get a vehicle that dirty it has to be uh, very uh, longly used into battlefield and, and crossing into um, the non-urban areas and he managed somehow from a plastic model to squeeze that much. We have a health track which is uh, different from the other books and this is also difficult because it is in different scale if I'm not mistaken. So this health track is again with uh, leftovers of the winter camel and it has some additional work on it like a metal part, scratch built parts and so on and it has an interior which is a difficult task for a lot of armor modelers. He shows how to use filters and uh, popular projects, uh, products I'm sorry you can see how many uh, oil paints he uses he does not use all of them in every project but uh, you can get the idea how many does he have in order to make different stuff on every different model the interior is visible here and uh, you can see that uh, weathering from the inside and the outside is pretty different which is the Mm, toughest thing to do in uh, armor modeling. The numbers here look hand paint, paint, painted. Everything looks very nice and again drawing attention like uh, this part here, this part here or, or that one here. Uh, the fender with the winter camouflage, the tracks, everything is nicely done typical in Rinaldi style. Quick reference step by step summarizing everything with the kit from start to finish and then on to the next project which is Panzer IV with the desert camouflage. The desert camouflage is another story it is also very difficult to be done because it looks uh, pale it looks dull and you gotta put a lot of efforts to make it shine on the model show and not look like a single tone brick put it on a sun pad or inside the diorama we have additional stuff like springs and a photo edge here you can get the idea then we have first color which is dark gray and then we have the interior additional parts After done everything that way, then he painted everything in, in desert color. This is because if you put layers and layers of work over your model, in the end you'll get the proper result compared to if you painted it only in the color, for example, this color after primer which is not the right way to do it according to Rinaldi and now according to many modelers out there. So you saw that he painted first dark gray, then he painted all the stowage and stuff, and then he painted desert color like it was in the reality. Then he put additional attention drawers like the jerry cans and the tracks here, which makes the model really, really attractive. Quick summarizing step by step and some figure modeling. So models, photos and texts are by a guest after uh, Van Gils is the name and I'm not much into figure modeling but I uh, can tell you that they look very attractive and are done with a lot of love and attention and as you can see these are attention drawers again 
because there is a story behind everything the faces how to paint them and so on and in the end to put them in the diorama or a vignette or whatever you decide to make so this summarizes the whole thing in Tank Art 1 by Michael Rinaldi the books as you saw in my other reviews now look differently and they are improved they are better than this one however this is the first thing and for the first book I think it's perfect I was a bit of a skeptic when first heard of uh, another modeling book but this is something different highly recommend it you can get it from the link descript, uh, in the description down below have fun with it if you buy it I, I enjoyed it a lot leave your comments below uh, ask something if you like the video or feel free to contact me for whatever reason in terms of modeling and see you in the next one